Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today Microsoft released another build for the Windows 11 dev channel. In this build, lots of features have been added and, let me also tell you that, this build which is 22518, will not be offered to ARM64 PCs, due to an issue that causes these devices to roll back, when attempting to update to this build. With this build, you can set your desktop background with Microsoft Spotlight Collection. Upon enabling the Spotlight Collection, you will see an inspiring picture from Whitehaven Beach in Australia on your desktop, as well as the Spotlight icon. Microsoft showed few options when right-clicking on the Spotlight Collection icon, but in my case, I can only see the option to open. By clicking on Open, you can know more about the place. Microsoft is trying out showing the widget's entry point on the left side of the taskbar with live weather content. You can also open the widget's board by simply hovering over the entry point. For users who choose to align their taskbar, the widget's entry point will be to the right of the task view icon. Microsoft is slowly rolling out this new feature, so it may not be available for all users, and it's also not available for me as well. Microsoft also introduced voice access to this build. Voice access is a new experience that enables everyone, including people with mobility disabilities, to control their PC and author text using their voice. Microsoft has listed commands through which you can control and navigate your PC. Voice access includes an interactive guide that explains how to complete common tasks using your voice. With this build, Microsoft had made the installation of WSL easier. Now you can get Windows Subsystem for Linux directly from the Microsoft Store. That was all about the new things added to this build. Talking about the changes and improvements. Microsoft is rolling out an underlying platform change to improve the overall performance and reliability of the input switcher for insiders using multiple keyboard languages and layouts. In addition to this, Microsoft also updated the input switcher which will now have an acrylic background. Microsoft also updated the context menu in File Explorer to make these options top level based on feedback. The ability for personalized combinations of emoji, which began rolling out with build 22504, is now available to all insiders in the dev channel. Also, starting with build 22509, Microsoft began rolling out a change to display your clock, and the date will now also be displayed on the taskbars of the secondary monitor or monitors. This is now available to all insiders in the dev channel. That was all the changes made in this build, regarding the fixes, you'll notice in this build are not very unique or new, if you want to know more about this build, the link has been provided for the official Microsoft blog. So, that all new from Microsoft today, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below, thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.